Getting to Disney is an adventure in itself. It all started with DFW-based Southwest Airlines, which is also celebrating a half century this year. So Southwest teamed up with Disney to create a one-of-a-kind plane decked out with Disney magic outside and in. The GMT crew got to fly on this very special plane first on our way to Orlando for the Big Bash. Oh, this is so cool. And a big thanks to Southwest for this magical flight. But the magic was just getting underway. Here at the most magical place on earth, the most magical celebration is about to begin, and we are going to give you a behind the scenes exclusive tour of the Magic Kingdom as they prepare to celebrate 50 years of Walt Disney World. Let's go. We started with a walk down Main Street, USA, where shops and restaurants have a 50th anniversary special merchandise and treats ready to go, and parades greet guests from all over the world. Now, a few things you may not know about this special street. It was designed to recreate Walt Disney's childhood hometown of Marceline, Missouri. It also pays homage to Disney Park employees over the years, who are known as cast members, with their names emblazoned on windows for all to read. Of course, we had to stop and get a photo in front of Cinderella's Castle, which got a makeover of its own for the 50-year celebration, with new colors and embellishments. The Disney team says they thought about every detail, big and small, like the 50 new golden statues peppered across Disney World. True Disney diehards will no doubt walk miles and miles to find them all to check them off their list. And few people know this park as well as Debbie Peterson, who's been working at Disney World for... How many years? 45 years. Debbie is an Imagineer, an elite level on the Disney hierarchy. Imagineers are creatives and dreamers who are in charge of designing and bringing to life these once-in-a-lifetime experiences and events, like the 50th anniversary. Which is a celebration of so many things besides 50 years of this park being open, right? It's family and friends and all the memories that were made here and the vibe in the air. Now the celebration isn't just landlocked. Disney Cruises is also debuting its newest addition to their fleet, the Wish. The ship has a beautiful and classic look and will set sail in June of 2022. It will sail three and four night cruises out of Port Canaveral, Florida to um, Nassau, Bahamas and to Disney's private island, Castaway Key. From a cruise ship at sea to a galactic star cruiser, the experiences keep coming. We got a top secret sneak peek at one of Disney's most anticipated projects where Star Wars fans can literally live in the Star Wars universe. Now, when it opens in March of next year, the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser experience will allow fans to stay on the iconic ship for two full nights, where each guest will play a key role in an unfolding real-time story, all set in the Star Wars universe. Anna Morrow is the executive producer and creative director in charge of it all. I think it is the way the stories are connected, right? And so we've talked a little bit about the fact that, you know, Chewbacca may wind up on board the ship and, and need your help, but it happens in so many different ways. You may receive a distress call from him while you're on the bridge and help bring him on board. You see him on the ship. He might follow up um, on your data pad, which is the Play Disney Parks app later and can, you know, ask for your help. So it's that we're able to bring the story through all the different aspects of your experience and make it a continuous storyline for you. While there's tons of new and exciting additions to celebrate the 50th anniversary, there's still tons of classics to enjoy at Walt Disney World, like Pirates of the Caribbean. Let's go check it out. And it's the classics that have delighted guests for five decades. Going from Pirates to Dumbo to a spin in the teacups, I couldn't help but think about the millions and millions of memories that have been made here over the years. Okay guys, we are about to ride Prince Charming's Regal Carousel and get this, in celebration of the 50th, we had to ride the original ride of Walt Disney World. This is actually the oldest ride that's here. It was built in 1917, originally came from Detroit, came to the original park later. All these decades later, families are still enjoying it. So we're about to take a little whirl, it'll be fun. After a magical day, an enchanted evening was in the works. We got the first ever look at the Magic Kingdom's new nighttime spectacular, Enchantment, a musical fireworks light show that celebrates 50 years of Disney. For a woman who talks on camera for a living, it's rare that I'm speechless, but Enchantment did just that. You too can visit the park to get in on the world's most magical celebration, a legacy of 50 years, and many more to come.
We are here celebrating the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. Today I am on the ground in Epcot where we have a world's worth of fun to be had. Of course there's the classics we're going to show you, but tons of new innovations and dreamers and things to be done that are new for this 50th anniversary. Let's go check it out. Disney World is a place where dreams become reality. And at Epcot you can see the best of our world in one beautiful park. For the 50th celebration, the Disney team has been hard at work to bring new experiences inspired by cultures from around the globe. Case in point, the French Pavilion. From the Eiffel Tower to the new creperie, Disney has done it right. Even flying French chefs in to make every single bite authentic. And one of the newest rides is Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, where guests get to experience life from Remy's point of view. <laughs> the chef family is waiting for you. A simple omelet? Too simple. The Imagineers behind this ride told me they used every sense to make this ride truly come to life. From a blast of heat when you're near the oven, to the smell of French bread, to splashes of water when you're being chased by a mop. Is part of the dream for people to come here and be inspired by what they see? We so hope that people will be inspired. I mean, it's so fun to be able also just to share this experience with people. You know, it's great to watch a movie with your friends and family on a screen, to be able to actually walk into that movie and a movie about this little rat that has these big dreams. It's, it's so fun to be small and I think that's what's really great with this attraction. And it turns out that inspiration can actually stick with the child in the real world. Just ask Matt Byler, a Disney producer who helped bring Remy's adventure to life. Epcot was the park that I grew up, you know, coming to and it was a, an amazing place that, that just inspired someone young to understand that, you know, all of these things are, that, that you see are achievable, right? That, that seeing, you know, where, uh, where humanity can take, you know, us into the future, that was such an powerful thing for a kid. Hey, thanks for coming, everyone. Okay, guys, that was so much fun. And just like the producers and the team behind this ride said, it really was about all the details. I could smell, yes, smell fresh baked bread on that and also feel the heat of the oven. It was so cool. But speaking of smelling that delicious food, now I'm hungry and I'm in Epcot. So let's go get some grub, come on. A tour of the world with every bite, a celebration of culture through food, from spicy Indian curry to Kenyan African fare to one of the best lobster rolls I have ever had, seriously. You name it, I bet you'll find it here. So Epcot is known for amazing food from all over the world, but what about food that is out of this world? Introducing Space 220, let's go check it out. Epcot's newest restaurant has guests blasting off 220 miles in the air before the meal even starts, through a little Disney magic, of course. The elevator at Space 220 is more like a rocket ship ride, and when you get off, you are in outer space. It feels like you're in space, maybe yep. almost like a little less gravity. How are you guys pulling this off? Oh, absolutely. I mean, even this music, right? Do you hear it? It's just very ethereal. You know, we had to give the whole right vibe to make you feel like you're in space. And it's a fantastic view behind us. After Space 220, when you come back down to Earth, how about a little sugar high? Disney rolled out brand new desserts to celebrate the 50th with new creations that can be found at restaurants throughout the park. With all the walking you're gonna do, you deserve a treat or two. Okay, take a look at all these people. These are super fans and locals who are waiting to see the very first showing of Harmonious. This is a nighttime music spectacular for the first time tonight. Well, we're gonna see it in a few minutes, but we also gotta talk to the team behind it. Harmonious is a nighttime music light and water spectacular that celebrates music from across the world and Disney films that speak to all of us. Yaron Spiwak is the senior music producer and creative director for Disney Imagineering. It was his job to work with more than 200 musicians recording in person and remotely from across the globe for this amazing show. Uh, I'm from Israel, Middle Eastern, and my mother is Moroccan and my father is Argentinian. And I hope that everyone that comes from different backgrounds and cultures can see themselves and hear themselves within this show. And watching the spectacular, I did see myself, and I watched others from every corner of the world see themselves too. And for a moment, we all may have had the same thought. If magic like this can exist at Disney, what magic can we conjure up in our own lives? If only we dare to dream.